Hello all. So today I'm talking about a Toyota with the P0346 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Toyota P0346 code? Well, it's a camshaft position sensor A circuit range performance bank 2. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer uses the camshaft position sensor to know the location of the camshaft as it spins, uses this for timing, and it's seeing air inside the circuit, so it have to be troubleshooted to know why. And bank 1 is always the side of the engine with the number 1 cylinder, and the opposite of that is bank 2. And sensor A indicates that there's going to be two sensors, which can be common inside a Toyota. Sometimes there could be one, and sometimes there could be two. And so the main cause is going to be either the camshaft position sensor or in the wiring. And so most people would go ahead and swap out the, the camshaft position sensor, and then if that doesn't work, then they go troubleshoot the wiring. But the wiring is not difficult to understand once you understand some basic things about it. And in older Toyotas, they'd have two wires, and in some newer ones, they could even have four. But by far the most common is three wires. And what's going on with these is that in the middle, you have ground wire, usually the middle. You have to get schematics for your particular year and engine to know exactly what's going on with it. But usually what's going on is like in the middle, you'll have ground. And one of these outer pins will have voltage when the key gets turned to the on position. And the voltage can vary. It could be 5 volts, 8 volts, 12 volts, whatever it is. But, but when the key is on, this'll, it'll send voltage to you here to power the circuit. So what you can do is take a meter, go from the center plug to one of these outer pins, and be sure you're getting voltage. And then the other pin is going back to the onboard computer. It's a signal wire. And when there's a piece of metal in front of the sensor, it sends 5 volts to the onboard computer. So what many mechanics will do is they'll take a known good sensor, they'll take this harness off, they'll attach it to it, they'll come in the back, they'll go from ground to the signal wire, and then they'll just put a piece of metal in front of the sensor and see if the meter goes from 0 to 5 volts. They'll know the whole circuit's working. And that's a common technique. There's some YouTube videos on that if you want to check it out. And another thing to mention is that if you're not getting no voltage due here, if you go to the middle pin ground to one of these outer pins and you're not getting no voltage, then it very likely has a blown fuse, which is a common problem. The fuse box that it's located in is usually inside the engine compartment off to the right, although it can vary. Sometimes they could be underneath the dash, but very commonly they're inside the the engine compartment, like right here, this one's labeled AM2. I guess you can't see it on my screen, but off to the right here, it's saying AM2 fuse. So you go inside of there, you have to Google it for your particular Toyota since there can be differences, but the whole circuit should be on a fuse. So if you're not getting no power to this circuit, then check for a fuse. It could also be an open wire, but quite commonly that fuse is blown. And so if you check the wiring, that's all good. There's no blown fuses or anything like that. Then it'd be time to change out that camshaft position sensor. I'll jump over on Amazon, give you an idea how much they cost. They're usually like 20, 30 bucks. Here's one for 90, it looks like. They're not super high cost parts or nothing like that. And replacing one of these is usually pretty easy on Toyota. Some manufacturers can put them in very difficult locations, but Toyota usually puts them in easy locations. They'll usually be on the top of the engine like this one. You have one bolt, you have the harness. You just take the harness off, the bolt off, put the new one in, put the bolt back in and the harness, and that's basically it. You'd be good to go. And so when you go to replace this, it'll be the sensor A. You'll have to Google it for your engine to find out the exact location. Some people go in and just swap out both sensors since they're low-cost parts. But mainly the onboard computer is seeing a problem with the camshaft position sensor A. So that would be the one to definitely swap out at that point. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a real quick brief overview of how you go about fixing a Toyota with the P0346 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.